Hi, this is Maria, Maria's Garden in Punta Gorda, Florida. How everybody's doing? Uh, what I'm gonna do today is talk about two things. I decide to start talking about two things. If it's not, the video is not gonna be too long. I wanna make it at least five, six minutes. That way, uh, you guys don't waste your time watching only two minutes, one minute, okay? So, we're gonna talk about succulents and we're gonna talk about desert roses. Okay, first of all, I hear people asking me, where succulents do better, inside the house or outside the house? It's no question, the succulents do 100% times more better outside than inside, okay? But of course, we gotta consider people that don't have a house. They live in a condo, they have a little balcony, uh, they don't um, have place to grow in, so they deserve to have plants to like we do. So this over here, you see this plant over here, this succulent over here? This succulent over here, I water it every two weeks. And this is where I place it, place it for a long time. Here, I have it here, okay? Right here under the tree, under the root, I water it. But you can see how this succulent stretch up like elastic. This succulent over here is the same as this succulent, okay? The same thing. You see, this is in the sun, this is not in the sun. So this is what happened. It stretch out like elastic, not because a lot of water. Right now, it doesn't have any water, okay, right now. I put water, but I don't put a lot of water because it's under the roof. You see, no water. Okay, this one, the same thing. You see that? This over here is stretch out. This is the chavarrias. They stretch out. And that succulent is supposed to be like this beautiful succulent that is in the sun, okay? Like this one. But again, what's over there in the black shelf and what's not getting sun? So they need the sun to survive. This one is in the sun. Look how beautiful. Is any more beautiful? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this one over here. You see that? It's in the sun. This one is in the sun. It's beautiful. These two over here are in the sun. You can see this one, the beautiful color, yellow in the sun. This one is not in the sun. This one is not in the sun. Also, this poor little thing, you see how stretch out is? Not because a lot of water. Because it doesn't have sun. They stretch out like this for two reasons, okay? They stretch out like this inside the house because they don't have sun, no because you overwater it. They stretch out like this outside because you overwater it. <laughs> so they, they can do this for two reasons, no sun or a lot of water inside the house, okay? So there you go. But again, you live in a condo, an apartment, you don't have a room, but wow, I want flowers. I used to live in condos, I used to live in apartments a lot in my young days. A lot of times, I wish I had a little plant, and uh, you can put it by the window. Or oh, you have a balcony, put it in the balcony. Or oh, when you go to work in the morning, put it outside in the, by the door. When you leave the, the apartment, put it outside. When you come home, put it in. You scare somebody's not take it. And sometimes take it outside for sun. Uh, you have a window, put it by the window, okay? Uh, what well, this one, I'm gonna fix. How you fix them? The only thing is to do, cut it here, over here, cut it over here, all this is not good. All this is not good. Only here, and restart it all over again. By drying it, you have to watch my video about how to start succulents. By drying it, and dehydrate it, and uh, start it over. So all this is good, all the ends over here are good. All the ends are good. It's too late to try to uh, fix this. It stretch, it stretch, and it stretch out, and doesn't matter what you do, it's not going back down. So, um, a lot of people say, oh, she put a lot of water. No, I didn't put a lot, not, not any water, hardly any, very little because in the chain, because no sun. Okay, the other thing I like to talk about it, okay, uh, is this. This is a rose. It's totally a beautiful, healthy is a rose. And she, she told me she loved me, but I have it close to a window in there, close to a window. And what happened when you put plants inside the house, or inside the house, or outside, 
near to a glass window, the reflection of the glass is gonna burn your plants. And this is what happens. It's burned. This is burned from the from the uh, from the reflection of the, the sun. So if you work in the office or you have, a, and they have plants in the house, in a condo, in the house, or in an apartment, whatever you are, and assistant living, whatever you are, uh, and that's where you live in the 20 building up in the sky and God knows where, it's okay to have plants because plants help relax, help uh, clarify the air and take a lot of stuff back from the air when we sleep. But you always be careful if the wind is too sunny, you cannot put it there. You gotta put it away from the window because this is what happen. A lot of people call me about it and this is what's gonna happen. People that work in the office, business people, they, they have plants. If your plant is getting like this, if you just buy a plant that's getting like this, is the, the heat, and the reflection of the heat of the glass is cooking your plant. You gotta move it around somewhere else where it's a window with so much heat. Anything you put close to the wind, to the glass, when it's a 90 degrees, is gonna burn your plant, inside or outside, okay? It's even worse outside, but uh, just be careful about that. Uh, this one is nothing wrong with, I'm just gonna let the leaves uh, dry up, uh, get yellow and fall down by cell. I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna cut it because, and then I make a wound and it's not need for it. I'm gonna let it do nature, do their thing, and uh, take care of this uh, dry, and I'm gonna put it close to a uh, uh, shade. Okay, another thing, can I please talk about what a beautiful flower cells are? Look at that, beautiful pair of red. This is, uh, look at this, it's the same plant, but you look this around, and these are more pointy, why? Nature, nature give us, nature give this beauty to us. And this one, look at this one. Is this beautiful? What? Look at this one. Look like, like look my hands dirty all the time because I was working in the door. But look how beautiful. Is this beautiful color? Little star. Beautiful plants. Anyway, uh, and this one over here, let's see this one over here. This one over here, look at the color. It's totally almost yellow in the center. Yellow in the center. And then has pink and then goes to red. Is that beautiful what? This is one of my seats, my ceilings. One of my beautiful ceilings. And thank you for watching Maria's Garden. Uh, any questions or anything? Uh, is anything wrong? I open mind. I agree when I'm wrong. In course, I tell you, I don't know everything. And I tell you, I'm not perfect. Until next time, from Maria's Garden, bye-bye. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Somewhere.